Hey y'all barbers, wake up man. So, I bought these bad boys probably about two years ago. These are the Babyliss Pro Rose FX's, right? I bought them about two years ago, right? Mm. Um, man, as you can see, they partially brand new. I went through my closet at the house with a lot of my junk at, and I ran into them, and it's funny. And I'm like, man, what the hell I'm doing with these, right? So, um, I haven't seen them in a while, man. It's been like two years, man, or probably a little bit uh, more than that. Kind of, you know, a few months after I got in the suite, so maybe two and a half years old. Um, man, I bought these because I was trying to replace my wall seniors. And if you know me, I'm really, really, really heavy on the wall seniors. They're my favorite clippers to use when you're uh, bothering out. I mean, when you're fading out from a one all the way down. And these are an adjustable clipper, the same, and they're supposed to be in comparison to the wall seniors, right? And I was cutting with them because they come with the uh, fade blade. Let me see if you can zoom in on it a little bit. Let's see. Uh, there we go. But yeah, it comes with the fade blade, if you can see that. There we go. See, it got the ridges on it. So it comes with that fade blade. Got these nice little little uh, brackets to keep you on point when you uh, fading and they click, right? So you can tell that it uh, moved to the next uh, level. Now these was pretty good, man. The engine run pretty smooth. If you hear it, it got noise. So I'm about to tell you why I stopped using them, right? So as you can hear, right? So this was actually my second pair of these. I bought the first one. I'm cutting, right? And then I notice this same sound, because if you know anything about Babylon, you know that they run pretty smooth. So when they start to make sounds like that, then you know something is wrong. So I was like, man, what the hell going on? And this was like a month after I bought them, because I cut a lot of heads. Um, I noticed that the little uh, bracket that holds the moving blade, it was broke. It was only one of them on there because it broke. So I was like, damn. So uh, I have a supplier that come through and give me clippers. I hit them. I said, hey, the bracket bro broke on the clippers. She said, no problem. She come up, give me a new pair, take the other ones, right? Boom. And that's these right here. So I'm cutting with them. I swear to God, maybe three weeks to a month later, exact same problem. So I hit her up like, hey, this clipper did the exact same thing, right? So she goes, you know, you got to send it back to the manufacturer, uh, you know, and that takes this long ass process or whatever. So I just throw them back in the box, did away with it, right? But like I said recently, I ran into them again. So if you look, and I wonder, uh, and if you had this problem before, um, let me know, man. I wonder if anybody else had this problem. And this happened to me back to back, so I'm assuming that this is a flaw in these clippers. So if you look, right, let's see if you can zoom in now. Let's see if you can zoom. There we go. If you look, you notice that the blade is leaning. So when I cut them on, that's what's making that noise right there right look at that and that blade is leaning because it's loose look at that i shouldn't be able to move that like that right so what happened is let me show you let me show you so the the, the bracket uh broke on them right the bracket broke on them and that left us with you know, why this thing keep cutting on I'm going to show you right quick. And this is just me removing the, 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 the top blade, right? So as I remove the blade, you can see. Look at that. Let's see if we can zoom in now. Zoom in. Let's get in now. Look at that. Horrible. Horrible. So as I remove this, 
moving blade see what the problem is see that bracket right there is what's broken right there and as you can see these clippers are brand new right and this happened and at the time they was new so you couldn't find this bracket online so I did away with it however I did order the bracket because they got them it's gonna take a, a probably about a day they'll be here tomorrow and uh I ordered it so we're gonna give it another shot and being that I'm the one putting the bracket on we're gonna see if they work well if it do we're gonna get these things another try right so I want y'all to you know write down in the comments maybe it's something I did wrong right or, or, or if you had this problem too right write it down in the comments man I really need uh, some some help with this because it probably was me or is this coming right so I want y'all just write it in the comments man but yeah these were some great clippers man I don't know I, I don't know how much I spun for them at the time you know they was taxing right so it is what it is you know I hate to waste money you know I want to use them again and if you do use these write in the comments and tell me your experience with them and and let me know if they are any good after long time use right i know they got the newer ones out with the replaceable uh, batteries on it i'm looking forward to getting those but i want to use these for a while so i can get used to them and my wrist can get used to them that's if you know this bracket thing work out man so you know write your um comments down below let me know what's up with these clippers man y'all like the video comment subscribe and most importantly wake y'all asses up